Today we need to talk about a somewhat odd video that was posted recently and what that was about. We also need to get into people getting upset at Jimin for finding a black woman attractive and that nonsense. And then we have fans saying they cannot support the song Standing Next to You or Jungkook anymore. Say dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, it's Hastling Mug merch, and let's go. People are upset at HYBE and a lot of the problems and upset things are totally understandable. But of course, it wouldn't be a Dave Desai video if we didn't have opinions and things worth talking about. People were initially upset at HYBE for allowing Jungkook to do these collaborations with Western artists. One of the first with Seven was Lotto and this was controversial because Lotto had allegedly said some things online many years ago. However, as I've mentioned before, people in K-pop really hate to see other artists live the fans' dreams because they went and had to dig up things that were almost a decade old in order to call Lotto a bad person. If you have to dig more than a few years back, then you're digging for things. I would say you can change within a year and definitely within five years. So if it's around those times, then those things that were said can essentially be forgotten if they're not being said since then. Also, culture has changed so fast and what was acceptable yesterday to say is not going to be in the next six months. So these fans like to dig up things about Western artists to try to cancel the artists for living the fans' dreams. And they disguise it like, but if Jungkook keeps working with so-and-so, he's going to ruin his image. I agree, but if these things were already buried and somewhat forgotten, then bringing it up now is going to be what ruins Jungkook's reputation. Why not work on trying to hide the Western artist's mistake so it doesn't resurface and make Jungkook look bad? However, that's never considered because it's never actually about trying to fix Jungkook's reputation, but it's about telling Jungkook who he can and cannot work with, and the only people that he should work with are the fans. Fast forward, Justin Timberlake decided to jump on 3D and there was also a bit more backlash. Now the backlash on Justin is definitely not the fans trying to dig up things. And yes, while the things he is being accused of now with Britney Spears was a long time ago, the only reason why they're being brought up was because she wrote a book bringing it up herself. So it then becomes relevant now as people think Justin's actions were one of the many things that caused Britney to have such a breakdown and hard life. So I understand that backlash. But a lot of K-pop fans don't listen to Western artists. Instead, some of them live in such a bubble that they don't even know who is currently the most popular in Western music. So if they just simply don't bring it up, I bet the majority of K-pop fans won't even be aware of the drama surrounding Justin. Now fast forward again and what we're trying to talk about today apparently, Usher was believed to be remixing Standing Next to You and fans are saying they can no longer support the song or Jungkook. It's a great song and honestly it's a perfect artist to pick sound wise. Jungkook is with Scooter Braun for the album and Usher is signed with Scooter so the collab would be a very natural thing to happen. However, why are fans upset? Fans dug up a photo from 2014 where Usher apparently posted about being pro-Israel. The war that is going on now is more so a bribe byproduct of the long-standing tension that has existed for, as we can see, decades. And so the drama here is that people are calling Usher a Zionist, and then even shaming Hybe for picking Usher. Keep in mind the post that is in question was not only posted by Usher in 2014, but it was deleted shortly after, meaning he regretted posting it once he did. So to dig up a deleted photo from a decade ago to claim that this is the reason Usher is problematic. This to me seems like such an effort to just have Jungkook not be associated with any Western artist. They only want Jungkook to work with himself because then people feel like he's not a celebrity. But they can't stand that Jungkook is surrounding himself with these huge names. I will say there's a definitely a lot of really strange and sometimes gross people that are somehow allowed to be fans of the artist and I really don't think that they should be. There was a fan meet that was in question recently as people are saying the interaction and the whole situation is literally sexual harassment. So what happened? There is a group called Zero Base One and the member Ricky was having a fan meet. He was doing it virtually. There was one that he did a long time ago where a random strange fan had asked Ricky to call her master slash owner, meaning she is the owner of him, which is already a so belittling and disgusting. Apparently said fan posted that interaction online because the fan interactions 
are not usually public. And then of course, naturally, when said reaction was posted, people got really upset to see Ricky treated in such a way. But also that you have to be an interesting person to think that this is an okay video to post and not feel embarrassed for doing this. And like if this was a sort of sexual kink, that's not embarrassing. You do you, no judgment. However, what is embarrassing and so embarrassing is pushing your sexual kink onto someone who wants nothing to do with it and has not given you consent and then posting it as if it's something to be proud of. Disgusting. But apparently that instance a long time ago wasn't the only case and the alleged woman appeared again in a more recent fan meet, she asked Ricky if he remembered what she asked him before and then begs Ricky to call her what she had asked him to call her. And then it continues to say it's very expensive to buy these fan calls or get tickets to meet him in the fan call. So she asked for this favor. Ricky responded in a very classy way to say that he needs to be more reserved and to not say such things. And he did it with a smile and very calmly. Of course, the internet had some things to say as blocking her and that it shouldn't even be hard for the label to block such a person because in order to buy these fan meets, they have to put their personal information in. So blocking that name or blocking that credit card would be easy. And I definitely think strange interactions like this should not be allowed. Not only does it make it uncomfortable, but I imagine if Ricky said it, not only would it be a scandal and then it could be edited in many different ways and be a complete PR nightmare. It also could potentially even make this alleged fan more crazy. If they think that the idol is theirs or they think that they have a right to that idol, then they can do very scary or strange things thinking maybe showing up to their apartment is acceptable. So it's never safe for the idol to give away so much of their self online during interactions when you don't know the person. And then you have situations where the members don't adhere to a specific fantasy that the fandom has and then everyone gets mad at that idol. For instance, people were mad at Jimin recently. So what happened? Let's backtrack a little bit. Lizzo a long time ago did an interview or show where she talked about how she felt like BTS members were extremely beautiful and that she wanted to have sex or make out with all of them. She got a lot of backlash over that, but she then ended up getting more backlash over that when she eventually met them during a Harry Styles concert. Since then, she has gotten into some scandals, but that is not really super relevant here and wasn't ever brought up during ARMY's issue with Lizzo. I also would like to mention that her making these more sexual jokes was something that was just very trendy to do at the time. Of course, it was during the rear end of that, but it started with people saying, oh my god, daddy's so hot, run me over with a truck, and then it evolved into I want to have sex with everyone. So it's just how things went, and so Lizzo saying that could have also been just her fitting in. But during a more recent interview, when the interviewer asked BTS how they felt about meeting Lizzo, Jimin decided to give an answer that she was very attractive and nice, and that they were able to get a photo and it was fun. This caused some sort of backlash online, because people were upset that Jimin would even call someone who looked like Lizzo attractive, or even call a black woman attractive. Of course, this later moved on to when Jimin said that Megan Thee Stallion was very innocent and beautiful, and people had the exact same hateful thing to say about Jimin words. And who are you to say that Jimin doesn't actually feel those words? Of course, I can imagine people being upset because Lizzo was talking about having sex with the BTS members and then Jimin calls Lizzo attractive. Does this mean that they have kissed or done anything actually sexual? And the answer is likely no. Does it exist in this world where a man that is either straight or not, can compliment a woman and not want to sleep with her, just think that she is beautiful, but do not want to have relations because I think that exists. To see someone beautiful and attractive in a non-sexual way. I can call family members beautiful and attractive, does not mean I want to be with them sexually. And you can also call your friend beautiful and attractive without ever wanting to be with them. So it gets me mad when people get upset that other artists and people are happy and doing good things. There's always got to be someone sitting there being upset over the happy occurrences and trying to make problems. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for the comments right here. Love you. Bye.